Hello and welcome to Electric Focus and today it's charging basics. If you've just got an EV or maybe you've got an EV on order and you haven't yet had the experience to charge on the go, I do recommend one of the first things you do is find a quiet charger and go down and have a go. This particular one here is the first one I tried which is a 50 kilowatt rapid charger, Charge Place Scotland and it certainly gave me some confidence after I'd used this to understand how to use a charger. So we're going to look at some of the basics on this charger today, so let's get into the video. So first of all, how do I know what type of charger this is? Well, apart from looking at the charger itself and looking at the information, which tells you a lot, you could either look on the ChargePlace Scotland app or you can get a third party app such as ZapMap which has all the information that you would need to know and I've done a video on ZapMap so have a look at that really useful tool to have so if you look at the charger itself it also it's quite clearly labeled it's got the different connector types on here labeled um, there's a third one around the corner so we'll talk about those in a sec it's also got helpline numbers on here it's got the cost and it's even got things like overstay fees etc so there's also quite often a lot of information on the charger itself but if not look at the apps to get some more information the first thing you need to know is what type of connector you want to use now if you want a rapid charge so in this case this is a 50 kilowatt charger so you want to get the maximum out of that then you need to use the rapid charger on this case it's got a CCS DC rapid charger cable it's got a CHAdeMO rapid charger and then it's also got around the other side which I'll show you a picture of now an AC rapid charger up to 43 kilowatts now don't get confused with that because that only works on I think it's the Renault Zoe I'm talking about older Renault Zoe's as well that's an AC rapid charge in most cases, most cars can't take an AC rapid charge because the AC is the onboard charger that determines the speed. So in my case, I've got a 7 kilowatt onboard charger, so the maximum I'm going to get is 7 kilowatts. So I wouldn't want to use that one in this case. I want to use the CCS connector. Okay, then you've got payment methods. So on this particular charger, there's three different types, and you can find that out either by looking on the app itself or sometimes you can tell on the unit. So this has got credit card or debit card. You can pay via the app itself where you have to register and put your card details on, or you can get an RFID card. And I've got one here from Charge Place Scotland. You have to apply for these. It takes about seven to 10 days to come. So those are the three different payment methods. You've also got to be aware of any overstay fees. Now, in this case, it tells you actually on the charger that there's an overstay fee of 10 pounds after 70 minutes. So you wouldn't really want to be on there much longer than that if you're charging on a rapid charger. But also, if you look on here as well, there's a sign up here that says a maximum of one hour. So you've got to be careful about things like that, particularly in car parks, that you don't get any charges. So let's get on with a quick charge then. So we'll go up to the unit. Most cases on charges, you start off by tapping the screen. And there you go. And it comes up here with RFID or card payment and well, I'm going to use RFID card today so I select that one it then says show your identification to the reader so that's the card here sometimes it takes a few sort of moving around until it makes that beeping noise which it's done it then says select your connector so in my case I want CCS so that's that one it then says connect your vehicle and press start press the start button so connect it up a little bit stiff <laughs> don't forget to take your bung out when it's CCS there you go that's connected up don't trip and then press start and when you press start on most chargers there's a bit of a delay why is there a delay well because the car and the charger are talking to each other and you're here in the background I've just heard it there kick in so that's where the charger is starting up itself so it does take a few seconds 
for that sort of communication process to take place. So don't worry if it's doing that. After a few seconds, it'll come up on the screen as it's done here and it's starting to charge. Now I'm on quite a high state of charge here. I'm on 78%. So probably when I get to 80, it will start to really slow down. And I've done a video on that. If you want to have a look at it, charging on AC and DC, what it all means and a charging curve. Um, but here it's starting off at sort of 23 kilowatts. I might get up to 50 if I'm lucky, but it will probably be quite slow after that. So once you've finished charging, it's quite easy. You just take the original payment method, put it back on the unit. Heard, heard it made that noise again, beep, and then press stop. There you go, stop charging. And then to release the cable, in my case, I need to press this key, fob. That's to stop people taking your charger out, your cable out. Put it back in there and then put your bung back. Close that up. I'm getting a bit wet now. <laughs> but that's charging on a 50 kilowatt Charge Place Scotland charger. So I hope that was useful. As always, please like and subscribe and I'll speak to you soon.